Hello cookers! Now it's been fantastic today because it snowed last night and not only did it snow, but it snowed so much that I got a day off work. I mean, when does that ever happen? So I'm obviously going to do a bit of cooking. Now, last time I was in Aldi, which you might know I love Aldi, I found, you know, and you get the Aldi special buys booklet, so I was reading it and I came across this recipe. Now, it's not exactly as I'd want it, but the picture of the the veggie mince bit looks really nice. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, look. Mmm, I like that little bit there. <laughs> veggie mince bit. So I'm going to alter it because I'm not going to have potato because I don't eat white potato stuff. I'm going to swap that for little mini sweet potato swirls. Well, they, they look swirly in my mind. I've not made them yet, I don't know. And then I'm going to change the mince for corn. And I'm going to add some other bits to it, and we'll see how it turns out. Now, it it does say in this recipe, you're not going to believe this, that there's no garlic or chilli in it. So, obviously, I'm going to add a bit of garlic and chilli. You've got to have a bit of chilli, haven't you? So, uh, that's what it's going to be. It's going to be an adaptation of that. Now, I reckon it's only 90 pence to make. I bet it'll be even cheaper when I'm finished. But let's get on. So first job is to, well it says one onion, but I've only got two small ones, so I'll, I'll just chop them up instead. I'm going to bit my eye sting off the onions. They always say that there's tips, isn't there, what you can do when your eyes are stinging off onions. Right, I'm alright now. So I'm just going to chuck that in the pan now. I've not even read the instructions. I haven't got my glasses, so you know. I'm just, I'm just going off memory. Trying to, trying to remember. <laughs> just trying to remember the recipe. Um, because I can look at that there, and it just looks like a blur. Have you got to that age? So the thing with this recipe is that it says everything's got to be finely chopped. Well, me, I usually just like big chunk everything. So I'm going to have to take a little bit of time and fine chop them. Now the things I'm going to put in it are carrots, um, parsnips, green beans and a courgette and I'm going to put that with some corn, corn mince. I've got is my corn mince here. Now you, you can use proper mince, you don't have to use corn mince, I just I like corn. I'm going to put a big fat red chilli in it and four garlics as well. Supposed to be a picture and it's come out, <laughs> it's come out as a chilli tash. Love a bit of chilli and stuff. I don't know. I've got immune to it now, you know. I can eat a chilli. I bet I could do that chilli challenge, you know, where you just eat one. I wouldn't even notice it was hot. I would have put two in, but my son's going to have some, so I don't want to put him off. I don't want him to think healthy food's all red hot. I'm going to add the garlic and the chilli. Yum, 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 yum. Very finely, it was nice that. I've got green beans, um, a courgette or a zucchini and some carrot and I'm going to add some sweet corn in there as well so I'm just going to tip that in. don't know what I'm doing here, I'm just going like, just cooking, 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 cooking. Oh it looks good though doesn't it? Now I've never, <laughs> I've never actually cooked with corn mince before so I don't actually know when to chuck it in. I think I'll get the veggies going and then I'll, I'll, I'll chuck that in and then I'll have to make some sort of gravy. You can make vegetarian gravy, I'm not a vegetarian, I just like vegetarian food so I might make it a bit a bit beefy with a bit of oxal, not sure. <laughs> smelling good guys, smelling good, mmm. Mmm, mmm. 
So I'm going to chuck the corn in now. Oh, it looks. I, I didn't expect it to be brown. I don't know what colour I expected it, but I didn't expect it to be brown. Oh well. Pretty impressed with myself here, got to say. Really am impressed with myself. Right. 450 ml of water it said. I'm, put, I'm putting 500 ml in because I like a round number. 500 ml. Mm. That's nice that. Oh, can't wait to eat this. I hope my little uh, sweet potato swirls come out right. I know what they look like in my head. It's just whether they come out like that in a bit. I'm not sure. Right, I think that might need a bit more water, but let's have a look. Well, we don't actually have any oxo. I've only got um, uh, what are them? I don't know if they're vegetable or chicken. I'm not sure. Can't see. Can't find my glasses. I should cook it. I'll just have one of them in, whatever it is. You you know what that is. Can you tell? I'll be able to tell when I edit it after. <laughs> I'll we'll wait for the kettle to boil. I just thought I want to talk to you a bit about um, about corn. I like corn, but I think the problem where corn goes wrong in their marketing, if they wanted to sell it better, is to stop pretending it's like something else because it's nothing like a sausage. But you buy corn sausages, it's just the same shape. So in your mind, you think it's a sausage. And it puts some people off, like I've got a friend, and she, I give her some of my sausage stuff, but she couldn't wrap her head around the corn because she was expecting like a big, a big, well, we're not seeing sausage, don't we? Cow's eyeballs and all that. She wanted cow, cow's eyeballs and tendons. And instead she got a corn sausage and she couldn't handle it. So I think they should stop calling them sausage and that and call them like, Quorn sticks or quorn fingers or something like that anyway but I think that's the problem with quorn it tries to be something it's not and if they, did, if they didn't do that then they sell loads of it just give this um, whatever it is a mix I'm not quite sure what it is I can't tell <laughs> see if I can guess what it is I think it might actually be vegetable. I was going to use a beef one, but I, I don't have any oxo cubes, so you have to make do sometimes, don't you? I'll tip that in now, whatever it is. <laughs> tip that in, give that a mix. And then I'm going to put in that now, some, I'm going to put in some sweet corn. <laughs> I'm going to put in about... Oh, I'll just stick all the tin in. Just, I'll just put a full tin of, of little sweet corn in it. Fantastic. For a little bit of flavour now, that needs some salt and vinegar, no, some salt and pepper and some tomato puree, I think. Might stick in some Liam Perrins as well as some salt and vinegar. Put a couple of dashes of that in. So it should, I'm hopefully, these videos you see, will help me remember what I've cooked because... Oh, I can't be bothered moving my camera. I cooks. what I do is I get a recipe, you see. And then, <laughs> and then just change it. And then when you eat it and it's lovely and I go to make it again, can't remember what I did. So making these videos help me, helps me remember. Or, or help me remember if it's minging. Yeah, I can't resist. I'm going to put a bit of tomato puree in as well. Just about a tablespoon. That'll do. 
Now I'm just going to leave that now to simmer. Oh, that looks good that. I can't tell you how good that looks, I want to just eat it now. It's fantastic. <laughs> um, 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 um. <laughs> What I've done with my sweet potato is I've put it, I've just chopped it into chunks. You can see, not very big. And I'm, I'm just going to microwave that. I'm just going to put it in the microwave because it goes really soft and easy to, uh, sweet potato. And, uh, and then I'll mash it and I'll put that on one side. I'm not sure if this is the best method to do it, but we'll see. We'll put them in there. I'm not going to do it far. Oh. I've, let's have a guess. We'll just do it in 30. One, two. Five and a half minutes. Luckily, I was just having a look at the recipe to check everything in. I was missed out mixed herbs. So you've got to put in a teaspoon of mixed herbs. So where's my mixed herbs going in? Well, flavour some in it. Flavour, flavour, flavour. Right, they've had four and a half minutes now. Let's have a look. Oh, no, they're still hard. No, it right, must be about ten minutes in they, they need. I'll give them another five. So they're pretty soft now. Now, my only pro I've got a couple of problems here now that I haven't anticipated. One problem is I haven't got a masher, so I'm going to have to improvise. Two, I've had a look on the in <coughs> oh, gas. I've had a look on the internet for something that you can put in it to make it tasty, and it said garlic, basil, and thyme. So I've looked through all my herbs because I've got loads. And the only thing you haven't got, the only herb you haven't got in the world is thyme. And I don't know what it tastes like, whether it, I could improvise with something else, I'm not too sure. So, um, I'm not putting butter in. I'm going to spray them at the end with one cat. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't want to put butter in them. I, don't, I need a masher. What am I going to do? That's a bit like a masher, isn't it? Because I could crush it with that. It's got holes in it. Oh, yeah, that'll do. See? There's a will, there's a way. I don't know how creamy it's going to be. I'm not doing a very good job of this. Not as mashy as I'd like it to be, but I don't suppose I've got any butter in it, have I? Right, next bit basil. I don't, I don't know how much to put it. I'll just put a sprinkle in, should I? Get the, Put about that much in, should I? Oh, that's quite a lot, but never mind. Garlic powder. Um. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> oh, well, that'll have to do. It'll be alright, like garlic. It would parsley be alright in here. I don't know what to put in it. A bit of pepper, do you think? Put a bit of pepper in it. Never made sweet potato mash before. You're watching it live on camera. Your first attempt at the sweet potato mash. I love sweet potatoes, but I've just never had them mashed. Oh, my arm's aching. you think that arm would be strong from all metal detecting. It's just like, uh, this is just metal detecting fill five hours. Nothing against uh, crushing sweet potatoes. In a bowl. Now what my plan was was to make like little swirls so that you don't eat too much because that's one of the problems when you're enjoying something you have too much don't you so I thought well if I portion it out so you know how much calories it's because there's quite a lot of calories well it's not that many sweet potatoes but you know you don't want to overdo it with your sweet potato. Well, it's hundred times better than your normal potato but Trying to think now what to do. Ah! So I've got a, a baking tray and some greaseproof paper, and my plan is now to make like little balls and I'll flatten them like a patty and um and then I'm gonna I'm gonna grill them or something. <laughs> right, that's one.
want to just jab them with the fork to make it look presentable. Because that's what I always look so I think make them look that that puffy. I've got crispy bits of have <laughs> I'm going to spray them with one cow, give them a little spray. With a bit of one cow. Just one each one. I'm going to put them in the oven. So they've gone in the oven now. Now a good thing was, my son's just come down, said when's that dinner going to be cooked? You see? I said, wow, does it smell nice? And he went, yeah. I've been trying to get him to eat healthy for ages. He just doesn't eat healthy. He's 21 and he just eats rubbish. And I've been trying to get him to eat healthy. So I keep disguising stuff and telling him it's something else, but he doesn't notice. And then when he's at it, then I tell him what it was. So now he, because he, I've tricked him with corn sausages the other day. Now he likes corn. So I'll have to trick him with um, the garlic and the chilli and then tell him. <laughs> feel like a successful mother, don't you, when you've got your kids to eat carrots and stuff. That's looking good now. I think I need a bit of beef in it though. You see, this is the thing is that I was saying about corn, is that because that's mince, I think it should taste of beef. Now if they'd have just called it something else instead of mince, like um, they called it corn crumble, corn crumble, then my brain won't be saying put a beef ox, ox cube in it. Would it crack corn crumble? Corn, I've got it wrong. Right, they've been in um, about, about half an hour, I think. Let's take it out before they go brown or flavoured. Let's have a look. Well, they look a bit crispier, don't they? I've got the, some bits, I've got some little crispy bits there, isn't there? Right, let's plate it up then. There you go. I don't know if you can tell properly in that light how lovely that actually looks. It's so colourful. So I'm going to give it to my son now, see if he enjoys it. And uh, I'm going to have some as well. Tell you what, I've come back for seconds, it's so nice. I don't know what my son's got, he's not come down yet with the verdict, so that's quite good because he's not come down going, ooh, that's mingy. I wasn't so keen on the sweet potato things. I think them herbs I put in it was wrong herbs. Needed different herbs, but the, the concept was good. So I give the mincy stuff 10 out of 10 and I give the sweet potato things five. So you might find out how to do it better or you can tell me. But there was just something not right about them sweet potato taste and I think it was them herbs. So until next time then, <laughs> bye.